Lobby Tools, legislative news and information systems, on the web at lobbytools.com. Principal Rocky Hanna had to change some students' schedules and shift some teachers around, but he made it to the magic number for high school classrooms. 25, 25, 25, 25. The strictest phase of class size took effect in August, which means no more than 25 students per high school classroom. 22 in middle school and 18 in third grade and below. Hannah once supported Amendment 8 to loosen the restrictions, but now that he's two months into the final phase of class size, he says smaller classes are workable. It took a lot of planning, but we were able to make it work. If we were able to make it work, then every other school in the state of Florida should be able to accomplish the same thing. But statewide, the mandate is underfunded by $350 million, and some school administrators are considering extreme measures to meet the restrictions. In other districts, plans are being hatched to bus students between school zones to make class size work. Amendment 8 would give schools more flexibility to meet the mandate. Florida Tax Watch says it would also save a billion dollars a year. What this allows us to do is to spend that money not on these facilities, not on bureaucracy, but to take that money and, buy, and pay for good uh, teachers, good principals, and good academic instructions. But opponents of the amendment say there's no guarantee the money would go back into the classroom. And the amendment is really about eliminating the legislature's constitutional obligation to finance smaller classes. In Tallahassee, I'm Whitney Ray reporting.